Hey there everybody, it's Greg Christensen with Grandview Livestock. Just out here uh, checking on these these two-year-olds. They're going to be kidding here in uh, 45 or 60 days. We've given them their CD&T and uh, pneumonia vaccines. That's going to be getting into their colostrum now as they're starting to, to make colostrum. And uh, Hey, I want you to meet somebody. This is Guy Masters. Uh, guys with Goats on the Go out of Ames, Iowa. Guy's an affiliate with Goats on the Go. And he's come down today just to kind of look things over. Um, he's getting started with Goats on the Go this year. Um, so, Guy, what, what exactly is Goats on the Go? And well, what is it? What do you do? Yeah, well, thanks for having me, Greg. Uh, we're, we're, we're primarily focused on targeted grazing, uh, noxious weeds. Uh, overgrown brush uh, brushy type material that can be in, in, a, in a pasture like this it could be in your backyard it could be you name it anywhere that uh, you're trying to gain access to or, or uh, cut back on on the brush to, to to get in and get around that's that's our primary focus is is not just grazing a pasture but really pinpointing a, a targeted grazing area that may have poison oak poison ivy you name it, something that you're wanting to get rid of. I see. So, so me as maybe a, a landowner, a homeowner with an acreage, maybe I can't get into an area to mow it, or, or I don't want to because it's full of poison ivy. I could hire you, and then, what? You bring a bunch of goats out? Yes, sir. Yep. We'll uh, we load them up on a trailer, and we have what is. Premier One makes a net fence. It's an electrified, electrified netting that we can set up in, an, in, a, in a specific area that you want cleaned out or cleaned back, pushed back, whatever, however you'd like to call it. And uh, that's the that's how we target graze certain areas that you're wanting to uh, push back the brush control on. Huh. We bring, we load up the goats, bring them out, drop them off, and let them do their thing. You know, it depends on. How big of an area we're looking at you know if it's if you've just got a little a little roadway or something you want clean back it may we may be there a day uh, some people call in uh, b bigger properties you know five acres ten acres we may be there several days but it, it just depends huh. and so you'll come back and check on them what every day or yes, so sir. make sure they got water yep. make sure everybody's okay yep, yep. we come back uh, at once a day usually usually getting closer to the to the evening time you know when try not to bother them while they're working you know but get closer to evening time we'll make our rounds you know make sure everybody's you know the fence is in good working order make sure they've got water make sure everybody's up and moving around and, and looking good so what about guardian dogs like uh i've got guardian dogs here to stay with these you have guardian dogs uh, stay with them or how do you keep predators away uh, as of right now, it's just it's just the fence. Uh, we've talked about having guardian dogs, obviously for for insurance purposes. You know, some folks uh, uh, cost wise, it's not cost effective. Now, uh, so far, we haven't had any issues with guardian dogs, or excuse me, with predators with the electric fence that we use. But that's not to say that that right. couldn't happen in the future. And 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 guardian dogs like you have um, maybe. Of better use you know down the road but currently uh, we, we do not use guarding dogs uh, some folks will throw in maybe a llama or two or maybe a donkey uh, from time to time but uh, for the most part we don't use guardian dogs the, the electric fence does its job yeah yeah I can see that I can see the electric netting keeping away the stray dogs or a neighbor's dog or or somebody's pet you know that they had there yes, sir. Um, so what what is your area or what area do you cover uh guy i am my descriptor is kansas city west so i start on the kansas side of kansas city and i stretch all the way to the eastern side of topeka and then i go as far north as you know holton atchison and then as far south as uh oh probably like payola area that, that's that's kind of my territory and we also do have a, another neighboring affiliate that covers the Missouri side. So if you're in Missouri, we've got that covered as well. And so there's probably other affiliates all over the United States, maybe. Yes, sir. Yep, there's affiliates. I believe we are now in 12 different states, and that stretches from 
California all the way to the East Coast and Vermont. Uh, so we've all the way north to Minnesota, Wisconsin, south to Texas. So if, if you're looking for a, a, a sustainable vegetation management, Goats on the Go has got you covered. Goats on the Go. Well, so how would we get a hold of you or the company or what would we do if we want to look into this more? Yep, you can go on to our website, www.goatsonthego.com. You click on Find a Herd. You can either look us up on the uh, map or there is a uh, list of names and territories that people cover. You click on the, the farm name or the person's name in the area that you're located. That'll bring you to another screen where you can fill out a small form, give a brief description of what you're looking for, how big your property is, where you're located, and then we'll contact you from that point. Uh, we'll set up a, an on-site visit, what we like to call it, and uh, come sit down with you. You know, get a good feel for what it is that you're wanting to accomplish, and make sure that goats are even even an option. You know, even the route that you really want to take. Goats aren't always the answer, but they 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 do take. Um, uh, the majority of people's issues and, and, and resolve them. But uh, that's step one. We'll do a site visit. We'll make sure that we're a good fit. Make sure that we can help you with your issues. And then we move forward. Yeah. Well, that's pretty interesting. Goats on the go. Hey, Goats I, pre on the go. I appreciate it, Guy. Uh, Thanks, getting Greg. us filled in here. And and uh, we're going to let these goats go on to bed. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Hey, if you like this, well, hit the uh, subscribe button. This is Greg Christensen from Grandview Livestock.